Hey, Lakin, uh, wondering, there's a lot of talk right now of games being played maybe without fans in the stands for at least part or of the season. What would that be like as a player? Have you contemplated that at all? Uh, man, I mean, honestly, you know, um, that, I mean, whatever, you know, the government decides, whatever the, you know, the league decides, you know, with that stuff, you know, um, so be it, you know, uh, it's, it's just uh, up to the league, you know, and the government to, to, you know, come up with a, you know, a game plan to keep everybody safe. And as long as everybody's safe, you know, I, I think we'll, you know, do a, a good job of adjusting to what, what, what's given to us. Lake, and this is Matt Mayoko from NBC Sports Bay Area. When you look at some of the stuff that's happened around the offensive line for you guys, Trent Williams coming in, Joe retiring, uh, you know, there'll be a new right guard uh, starter from, from day one. How do you feel about how that offensive line kind of sets up for this season? Uh, you know, obviously, you know, having Joe a part of the line, you know, was uh, – you know, for me, a treat. You know, I get to play against, play with him for the past, you know, uh, three years. And that, that's been, you know, just phenomenal. And, you know, the type of leadership that, you know, he brought to the team and to the 49ers, you know, just with, with his, uh, with his uh, career path, you know, being on the same team for all that time and, you know, doing everything he can, you know, taking the team to two Super Bowls. Um, you know, that just goes to show, you know, what kind of, you know, leader he is you know, and what, you know, what we lost, you know, when he re retired. But, um, you know, we feel really confident, you know, with Trent and, you know, um, you know, also lost uh, Mike Person. Um, but, uh, you know, the guys that we have in the room, you have some, you know, uh, some really good ball players, And, um, you know, I, I think that we're going to do a good job, you know, um, having the same offense coming in uh, into the season. I think you think everyone's going to mesh well. Hey, Lincoln, Nick Wagner from ESPN here. Uh, you just mentioned some of the losses you guys have, but you didn't have a lot. Uh, you have, I think, 18 or 22 starters back. Your whole coaching staff, for the most part, is back. In, in a season like this where there's so much uncertainty, how much does that continuity mean, uh, especially this year moving forward? Uh, I would say especially this year, it, it, it's, it's going to mean a lot because, you know, right now obviously we can't, we can't be together, we can't work together. On the, on the field or anything like that. So uh, everything, you know, for the most part has been virtual. And, um, you know, it's it's really important to have that continuity right now in these times because, you know, having everything the same, you know, for the, the veteran guys, the guys that have been a part of the offense and the defense and special teams last year, that whole, that all those installs are going to be the same or mostly the same. And, you know, uh, coaches can really focus on, you know, um, uh, coaching the – the rookies coming in and making sure they're on the same page and you know, the veterans can help with, you know, with the learning process in that sense. So um, just having, you know, the majority of the team coming back, you know, I think it's going to be um, a winning edge for, for, for this team uh, in, in this phase. I can barely hear you. Hey, Lakin. Can you yeah. hear me? Yep. All right, great. This is Eric Grant from the San Francisco. Oh, you're 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 gone now. <laughs> okay. All right. Can you hear me okay now? Yeah, I can hear you, but you're like fading out. Okay. I just want to ask you about uh, Williams. Uh, you mentioned him, but what do you know about him? And what, what's his information on the league as far as the seven line? Uh, I only heard the first part of the question uh, about Trent Williams. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to answer that. I mean, I think he's a hell of a ball player. Um, you know, having someone like that, you know, being a part of the line, you know, I think it's going to be really, really good for us. And, you know, um, been to X amount of Pro Bowls. And, you know, I, I think having th that that player, you know, to, you know, play the position that, you know, that um, the left tackle position, that's going to be <laughs> that's going to be fantastic. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm sure everyone's looking forward to that as well. Um, and, you know, we're all excited. We're all excited. Uh, we are trying to part of the team. Hey, Lakin, this is David Lombardi from The Athletic. Um, I I'm wondering two things. A, uh, what was your reaction to the schedule yesterday? Anything that you noticed that excited you about that? And B, what are you doing to, to work out since obviously um, stuff is a little bit different nowadays with that? Man, uh, it, it, it's kind of weird. Like when, when I first saw the schedule, like I was like, 
kind of relieved because, you know, obviously the times we're in right now, you know, everything's kind of slowed down due to, due to the coronavirus and, you know, not being able to work together. But just seeing this, the schedule, you know, being released, we're like, man, wow, I can't wait to get back to football. So that was, that was my initial take, uh, seeing the schedule and um, seeing the opponents and seeing all the, you know, the trips and the away games and bye weeks and primetime games and, you know, all that stuff. It, it just, that's the kind of feeling it gave me. And um, uh, I've been doing uh, pretty much, uh, I have a home gym here, uh, my house. So I do all my workouts here. Uh, obviously, we're still doing the, the virtual uh, meetings with the coaches. And I think that's very important right now, you know, um, spend more time in the classroom because we can really dissect some things, you know, some, uh, some things on the tape. And we get uh, some really, really good feedback and a lot of stuff. So uh, um, that's kind of been uh, my uh, kind of my tempo here. Lakin, this is Chris Biederman from the Sacramento Bee. I I'm curious with you guys having lost two of your most experienced players on offense, what were the things that you might have learned from, from Joe Staley um, and even Emmanuel in, in the short time you guys had together in terms of their preparation or their mindset um, that you could use going forward and, and maybe try to impart on some of your younger teammates? Man, I, I've been playing next to Joe since I've, since I've been here and um, I've learned so much from Joe, you know, not only as a football player, but, you know, as a man, as a husband, and, you know, it, it's, he's taught me, you know, how to be a better man. And, you know, um, when you, when you want to, you know, look at someone as a leader. Joe Saley is a definition of a leader. Um, I mean, in, in my in my eyes, you know, what I've learned you know, from college, from David Cutcliffe, you know, uh, a true leader is, is someone who not only helps produce more leaders, but also leaves a place better than he, than he found it. And I think Joe Staley did, you know, exactly that. I'm sure he did. He, he, he didn't want to retire, but, um, he did exactly that. And, you know, what he did for the San Francisco 49ers, it's just been, you know, all we can say is, th is thank you for all the sacrifice, all the time that you put in into making the, the program what it is. Hey, Lake, and this is Tracy Sandler from Fangirl Sports Network. You talked a bit about the virtual meetings. Can you just talk a little bit more about what those are like and the structure of those? Uh, you know, obviously we only get like a lot of time to, uh, to work, uh, with the coaches. Um, you know, we have our work iPads here. Uh, we do most of our meetings through zoom and, um, it, it's been very, it's been working out really well. Um, you know, the coaches are, I'm sure they, they rehearse the meetings that they have. They have the installs for that day and they, they bring the guys in, uh, we get to see everybody's faces. That's really nice. And, um, get to talk to each other. And um, so it's, it's been really well um, just going over, you know, things we usually do in OTAs, the installs we usually do in OTAs, um, and just going more in depth with, you know, some of the, the, the plays and techniques that, you know, that we use on the field. So it's been, it's been a really informative. Like and Jennifer with the NBC Sports. Hey, can you tell us your favorite Joe Staley memory? I mean, a lot of other players have kind of shared those with us. Just something fun. Favorite Joe Staley memory, man. I can I can give you a recent one. I swear, man. Uh, I think it was the playoffs, Green Bay game, when we uh, we had this like really good B block together, and we just sprung Raheem for a touchdown. And I, I turn around, I see Joe dancing and Mike McGlinchey dancing, so I have to jump in and dance with him. We were like doing some kind of like shaky dance thing. It was wild, man. That was a hell of a game, and, um, and that's one thing with Joe. Uh, his competitive spirit is just so high, but he still has so much fun out, out on the field. And, you know, when you see a player like that, having so much fun on the field is contagious. And, you know, it, that's – I mean, that's one of my, my fondest memory of Joe. Blake, and what's the process like for playing alongside a, a new left tackle? What, what does – Trent Williams have to learn about you. What do you have to learn about him to kind of, you know, to combine and, and make a really good team there on the left side? Uh, I mean, just, you know, getting the reps, getting the reps together. Uh, I'm sure that will come, you know, uh, 
with well, you know, the, the more that we talk to each other, the more it, it's just everything, you know, there's guys uh, having good chemistry and, you know, having these Zoom meetings, you know, get to see everybody's face and you know, talk, to, talk to each other. You know, I, I think that's just, you know, where it starts, you know, starting with talking to each other again, being on the same page and, you know, thinking the same things. And that's just where it starts. And, you know, uh, when it comes to working with somebody new, that's especially on offensive line, you know, you got to have that. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. I really can't wait to get back on the field, get back around the guys. And, you know, um, the offensive line, I, I think, you know, one of the one of the closer knit groups uh, for a football team and um, you know when those guys are together all the time it just makes it makes the unit so much stronger. Hey Lincoln Kyle Posey Niners Nation uh, two-part question first off what does your shirt say second off how much <laughs> of it is on you to make sure that the guards like Brunskill and Tom Compton are just accumulated with the football team? Uh, my shirt says silence to shame uh, it's just a mental awareness shirt we got it from the PA um, and then with uh, Brent Skill and Compton, um, it, it's, I mean, I can do a, a good job of just going, going out there, you know, when we do hit the field and going out there and, you know, um, just, you know, practicing, you know, at the, at the level, you know, at the standard, upholding the standard. And, you know, Brent Skill was on the team last year. He, he can go out there, execute the standard. And, you know, it's all about just, um, you know, uh, practicing to the standard that we that we practice and you know obviously we can't do that right now but you know that that would be the the challenge you know uh, for for any any lineman um, coming to the team and being part of the team you know when they when they come in you know, they see the standard um, of uh, the execution level and uh, you know uh, just um, beating and exceeding that standard you know that's just any challenge this is a challenge that you want to you know you want to get by being part of the team. Like, and this is Jennifer again. Uh, have you, you've had meetings with the other offensive linemen, but also with the other offense, like um, Jimmy Garoppolo, have you been in contact with him and the other members of the offense? Uh, we, we had a special teams meeting uh, and, and that's everybody, you know, uh, everybody in the, in the room, all, uh, all, man, I don't even know how many people were in that meeting. The entire team was in that meeting, uh, GM, was in that meeting coaches were in that meeting and you get to, you get to like scroll through and see everybody's faces but uh you get to hear people comment but um you, you don't really get to you know interact so much with our players when you're in a meeting because you know we're paying attention we're taking notes but um you know you get to see everybody's faces and then coaches will make a comment and you get to hear feedback from the players it's always nice so that's the interaction that we get